friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video as you can tell by the title we are doing a grocery haul we spent about hundred and fifty dollars on this stuff it was like 160 I think it was like 159 or so um, so you can tell that inflation has just taken over the world <laughs> because this is not much food at all I really didn't even get that much meat and my bill was almost two hundred dollars um the only thing that is not pictured is a 12 pack of um toilet paper we got the great value brand I think you get 10 rolls no 12 rolls for ten dollars and we really like the soft and strong great value so we've been buying that because it's the cheaper route um and in my opinion it's our opinion it's still great quality so let's go ahead and just jump right into it slightly out of breath my husband brought it all upstairs thank the lord but getting it all set up and getting the picture and all the things um and just get it all set up I'm winded so anyway let's go ahead and jump right into it don't forget that if you guys like grocery hauls if you like day in the life videos um please do not forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a huge thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying it these videos usually always do really well on my channel I'm super grateful for you guys being here and loving on me and supporting me um subscribing to my channel is free to you means the world to me so please don't forget to hit the right subscribe button before you leave I am trying to hit a goal of 5,000 subscribers um Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And like I said, when you guys see how much food this is, you're going to be like, that cost you almost $200? Yes, it did. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is all it is. <laughs> and if you know me, a normal grocery haul fills up like all it is. It fills up all of it. Like it's just jam packed. And this is just not much, at least not for me. But I only have a few non-food items. My boys still have a couple weeks worth of wet food. Usually I try to stock up, but again, with the grocery bills being so high already, I didn't want to have to spend like another 20 bucks on a giant thing of food. So I went ahead and just bought two of these. That way I knew that we would definitely stretch through the next pay schedule. And then that is when I'll stock our boys up. So just two of their Sheba pates. And then you guys, if you know, you know, they have to have Sheba and they have to be the, one of the seafood flavors. So I got the salmon. We needed some body, oh my God. We needed some hand soap <laughs> for the bathroom. So I just picked up the Equay Aloe Vera. I haven't even smelt this one, but I just wanted to grab something that was cheap and just quick to, you know, just something nice to put in the bathroom um, that would get us through um, until I restock. Usually I like to keep the bath and body works, but we're running out and I'm not gonna make it by there anytime soon. So this one will work just fine. And then I needed a box of tissue. Um, I like to keep these, um, one in the living room and then one by my bedside. So we didn't have any more left over. So I picked up one box of Kleenex. And then I was completely out of aluminum foil and I have been out for like weeks now. So I finally got some aluminum foil. And then two packs of our low carb tortillas. These are the six grams net carbs. Absolutely love these. They taste just like regular tortillas. Um, they're a dupe for the Mission Carb Balance. Um, they're so, so good. Um, the Carb Balance also have, oh no, I'm lying. The Carb Balance have four net grams. So if you care about each and every little gram, then you'd want to probably get the Mission, the Mission brand because there are two less carbs in those. Um, but these have six net carbs. Love these so much. For produce, I got... These cherry tomatoes were on sale for $2, y'all. This is the one good thing about this grocery bill. These only cost me like $2.48, and my husband loves loves cherry tomatoes. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and get that. And when I saw it was a 24 ounce, I was like, are y'all sure? But yeah, they sent me 24 ounces of cherry tomatoes for less than $3. Um, and then two heads of lettuce. We've been enjoying salads and wraps a lot here recently since we've been doing low carb. So two heads of lettuce that should last us two weeks hopefully because I just cut up a fresh head of lettuce in the fridge so we technically have three so we should be good there and then my husband requested some strawberries some apples and then he wanted some oranges so I decided to try these juicing oranges they're not quite as big as a normal orange and these actually don't look that great I'm gonna have to get a couple of them open and see but they really don't look that great so we'll see hopefully he likes them if not I'll take them back and get a fresher bag but that is everything we got for produce and then coming this way, we have some butter. Pretty sure I ordered two sticks of butter. Goodness. I'm going to have to look back on my grocery bill because I'm pretty sure I ordered two sticks of butter. Um, but if not, that's fine because I know we have um, three more sticks in there. Plus, I still have some Land O'Lakes. Um, so maybe I didn't order two sticks or two cases. I don't know. And then I got my husband the honey wheat 
bread, the great value like off the shelf bread, but they substituted it for this like bakery style looking honey wheat bread, which is fine. Um, I'll be making him some um, tuna fish sandwiches and I'll also be making him like ham and cheese because we do have a thing of ham in there that we have not used up yet. And the carbs on this bread really isn't that bad. 23 grams per slice, but then you have 4 grams of fiber. So that brings it down to 19 grams per slice. And that's not bad. If that's the most carbs he eats in the day, then that's really fine because we're doing under 50 grams, not the traditional 20 grams or less. And then back here, whole milk mozzarella cheese. Um, just this different recipes. We've been making a lot of like pizzas and like I made some pepperoni pizza pinwheels kind of like a hot pocket low carb version on my vlog that went live before this video. So um, we need mozzarella for all of that. And then just some sharp cheddar again to put over eggs, make breakfast tacos, all different kinds of things. You always need cheese, put it on salads, all that. And then back here, I got a box of the Orville Renbacher Ultimate Butter. Um, and as far as this popcorn goes, for two, uh, five cups popped, which is not bad, five cups of popcorn popped per serving um, is only 17 net carbs, 17 grams of carbs, but then there's two fibers, so really 15 carbs. That's really not bad. So a serving size is two tablespoons popped and or five cups, excuse me, two tablespoons unpopped and five cups popped is a serving. And for all that, I mean, five cups of popcorn is a lot. And for all that popcorn, it's only 15 net carbs. So this definitely makes a really awesome um, treat snack for me. And it still is low carb, but I don't have to give up my popcorn fix. <laughs> And then to go with that, we have some of this in the pantry along with our spray butter, but I love this put butter popcorn seasoning. So I picked up another one just so we don't run out. I swapped my flavors this week. Can you guys believe it? You guys know I'm loyal to the mango, but I decided I wanted to try go back to the grape. I really enjoy the grape flavor, but I've just been so stuck on the mango. I haven't been able to let go. And then I still have two boxes of mango sitting up here. <laughs> So I decided I would make, um, I would pick up some grape instead of the mango. Um, and then we have ranch powder seasoning. I just running low on my ranch powder seasoning, so I picked that up. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I'm running low again. I just need enough to get me through a couple weeks until I do a big restock. Hubby needed more steak sauce, so he want he wanted to try the Great Value steak sauce, so I picked that up. And then um, we have a jar of pizza sauce in the pantry, but I wanted to get one more because I know we've been making a lot of pizza style uh, recipes that we've been enjoying. And then my husband likes red sauce on everything. Um, they substituted my regular cans for the light, but the regular cans only has one carb. And this has four carbs per two tablespoons. Well, three net carbs. But that's really annoying because if had I known that, I wouldn't have gotten this. I would have chose a different, like, Caesar dressing. Even though I love Kins, I'm loyal to the Kins brand. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just go back in there, like, tomorrow or in a couple days and see if they have the regular and just swap them out if it's that important to me. If not, then I'll go ahead and use it. Um, but yeah, I don't mind the light because it's fewer calories, but it's uh, like three or four more carbs than the regular. Anyway, I digress. All the way back here, we have whatever 18 plus 36 is. I think that's 58 uh, eggs. Um, and this is how many eggs we need to buy for only two people to last almost two, two and a half weeks. Um, I bought this many eggs on my last grocery haul and I think we only have like five eggs left. So I bought this many eggs again. So that way I know we have enough eggs. I make eggs almost every day. Six out of seven days a week, I'm making eggs. This morning I had yogurt and granola for breakfast. Every other morning I'm having eggs in some form. So we're having eggs. And then if you know, you know. If you watch my videos, you know. If you've seen my vlogs, my what I eat today on low carb. This right here is like the holy grail, at least for me. Some people have probably tried them and can't stand them. The trick is let them sit out for at least five minutes and they are so creamy and so good. And then my husband really likes the peanut butter chocolate ones. So he just requested one box of these. You only get four in a box. So I told him, I was like, are you sure you only want one box? He's like, yeah, it's fine. So I got him one box, but mama got two because I need two boxes. 
I rely on these every night. A big bag of frozen broccoli because we just use up the last little bit. We either have a little bit or we just use up the last little bit. So we need enough to last. And then these are the sausages my husband requested um, for his breakfast over the next couple of weeks. The Vermont maple um, patties, not the Lynx. So I did pick him up two of these. These are excellent in the air fryer. So if you guys have not tried the like premium fresh sausage meat, either Lynx or patties in the air fryer, you definitely should. They're very good. And then here, um, this has been a new dinner that we've been enjoying so a new side for our dinners that we've been enjoying so much and it's the garlic butter green beans all you do is heat your pan I like to add about a tablespoon extra of butter um, but you don't have to by any means all you have to do is dump this in a skillet and let it warm up that's it cook it saute it until I like to let my beans get a little sear on them um, and that's it and they're ready to go they taste so good like I said I do put like an extra tablespoon of butter and I do like a good turn of salt and pepper just to give it a little extra something but they're ready to go already seasoned garlic butter green beans they're the best and they I mean they're perfect so as you can see we love them because I got three bags of them to go with lots of meals throughout our weeks our next couple weeks and then for my sausage um, meat of choice for my breakfast is breakfast this is <laughs> I got the brown and serve um, banquet I know these are super cheap and super processed and not that great for you but they only have two carbs for three links and that's about how many I'll eat with my eggs so this is perfect this will give me my little three car my two carbs in the morning for my three links with my eggs and that's a perfect breakfast I could eat that every morning so I picked those up for me Hubs requested some Cheerios. Again, this is one of those things where it's like he's been doing so well with me on low carb. He's been being a good sport. He's been enjoying everything I'm cooking. He's been more than willing to, you know, do this with me because he wants to, you know, get a bit healthier right along with me. So when he asked for the honey, he said, can you or get the honey nut Cheerios? I was like, of course, why not? So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then I got three cases of chicken tenderloins because we've been enjoying these and every single pack I was praying to God that every single pack they picked up would be eight dollars or less and y'all every single pack was eight dollars or less these two packs were 805 this pack was 840 and like usually these packs are like they could be an upwards of like 11 or 12 dollars so that was a steal I got those eight packs that was 24 dollars of my budget right there so <laughs> And the only thing, like I stated, that's not pictured is a 12-pack of tissue. And that was the Walmart brand Soft and Strong comes in a blue pack. So, that's everything. Alright, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along, seeing what I picked up at the grocery store. Um, like I said, this is a really small haul for me. If you go back and watch all my videos, I do have a grocery hauls playlist. So, you can go back and check out all my grocery hauls. Every single one, like from the very first haul I've ever ever filmed ever which is probably cringy <laughs> but I um I have a whole playlist of grocery hauls if you've watched my grocery hauls then you know this is a small haul for me usually we're spending 200 or more and on a restock video we're spending three 350 sometimes even four so um from this to not be my restock pay, you know my restock pay period this is not a lot and we definitely spent more than what we usually would so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video Inflation is awful. Give this video a thumbs up if you agree. <laughs> Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and invite a friend to come over and subscribe. We have big goals for 2023. Um, I'm not sure if this video, this video is probably going to go up after the first because today is the 30th, the 30th when I'm filming. So this video nine times out of 10 is going up after the first. So I hope you guys had a happy new year. I hope 2023 is good and a blessing and nice and kind to all of us. So. I will talk to you guys very, very soon in another video and another grocery haul. Bye-bye.